I choose joy. Guess what? It's time to grab your balls. It's canon season. I'm still on Thanksgiving stuff. In this bag is my leftover carcass from my Thanksgiving turkey. We are going to put that in my tea fall pot and I'm going to let that go for about an hour. After it's done in the tea fall pot, um, pressure cooking for an hour, I will then uh, probably let it boil, just regular boil on the stove for another hour and that'll be good enough to get me some really, really good turkey broth. I'm going to start uh, incorporating drinking bone broth every day in my diet. My mom's jeans gave me this smooth skin and youthful appearance. And I wanna try to keep it as long as I can, y'all. I mean, I'm going for broke. I'm in my 50s, so let's see how far we can ride this train. In my stock, if you saw my other videos, you saw that I have my radish that I just pulled today. I'm gonna to add some of my radish greens in there. I'm gonna add some of my turnip leaf greens in there, and we're just gonna get it started. You've already seen me make bone broth before, so you can check back on that video, and we'll come back when I am done cooking the carcass in my tea fall pot. Let's go. I got my pot filling right now, but I thought about I don't typically have really dark bone broth because most people roast their bones before they began to make bone broth. When I'm making turkey and chicken bone broth, I typically just throw the bones inside of my pot and get it started that way. If you're making beef broth, yes, you probably want to um, roast your bones. I got my tea fall pot filled to the second line in here. And if you have a tea fall pot, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. The first line is at the very bottom. Then there's one midway. And then there's one at the very top. That line is to indicate, don't go any further, honey. You have reached your limit. So let's start loading a turkey. And I got cold water in here. The carcass is frozen. I'm not going to break it up because guess what? The advantages of having this tea fall pot and it being so large is it can hold this enormous carcass inside of here without me having to break it up. Let's load in our veggies. I'm going to clean up everything. When I come back, most likely you will see my finished version, my canned version. And like I said, I've already shown you how to make bone broth before, so take a look at that one. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you coming to this channel, and as always, Happy canning.